Before this video starts, I want to say this is a non-spoiler review of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So I got to see Doctor Strange in Multiverse of Madness last night, a day after it came out, and I gotta say, this movie was, I would feel, overhyped. Don't get me wrong, it was a very, very good movie. Every character that was in it was extremely, extremely good, and the music in it, even the camera angles and the kind of creative design and everything about it was extremely, extremely, extremely good. Some of the battles, some of the characters as well, I know I said that, but a lot of the characters that were in this were extremely, extremely good, and because some were variants as well, it was really, really cool thing to see. And the whole thing of the multiverse was a concept that was really, really cool to see because to see it in the MCU and just how they could travel through and what other ones looked like, it was just, it was such a cool concept to see and visually appealing, really, really was. Nice colours, the shadows on certain things were really good. The storyline, I thought, it could have been longer. I think if it was two and a half hours or maybe even, maybe even three hours long, this movie would have been a lot better. And there was some horror in it as well. Gave it kind of a feel that kept you on edge. You were like, okay, this is the horror part. Oh my God, this is good. Or you didn't even know it was going to be a horror part. And it was like, oh God, that just happened? Oh, wow, okay, that... Wow, I did not expect that. Seeing multiple variants of different characters, for example, Doctor Strange, was something that was really, really cool to see because we got to see what he'd be like if was just pure good or pure evil or in between or he lost so many people or something like that. And just how the different universes were all different, but Stephen Strange was technically kind of all the same in them. And of course, look, we all know the Illuminati was going to be in this movie. The Illuminati was very, very good. And I gotta say, I feel like Wong had more character development in a way in this. It showed him being the Sorcerer Supreme and leading all of the other sorcerers. But I gotta say, I feel like the movie was kind of carried by Elizabeth Olsen's acting as Scarlet Witch or as Wanda. I thought was really, really, really good. She put on a massive, crazy, r real performance. Like, you felt what she felt at times. And you could see the horror come into it. You could see the graphic content come into it. Like, with the way certain people died or variants died or stuff like that. And all in all, I'm going to go see it again because I feel like there was a lot in it to unpack but I also feel like because it was so short it didn't have enough time to play out certain lines or it could have expanded on certain story plots in it and I don't know I, I feel like it felt kind of very fast paced because it kind of got into the action very very quickly into the movie which don't get me wrong is perfectly fine to do but it just felt like certain things poor portions of it were kind of rushed in a way to kind of quicken on the story and if they maybe took a step back and were like okay well we kind of need a bit more here so maybe if we just leave the next five minutes into this it could actually produce a better movie now do i think we could get a Raimi cut or a director's cut like we did for the snyder snyder cut don't know. It'd be interesting to see because he, I think Sam Raimi said he wanted it to be 2 hours and 40 minutes. But it ended up being 2 hours and 6 minutes. And there were 2 post credit scenes, I think, if I remember. And they were actually really good. And, of course, it said Doctor Strange will return just like the Eternals did. I don't know. I felt more confused and was like, oh, that that's it, really? I felt... Like, it was lacking. But I also, at the same time, I didn't. It filled in a lot of stuff. But it also kind of left a lot of things open to your imaginary. And, of course, all the other universes that we got to see, are, well, some of them were extremely colourful. Just everything to do with this movie, with the magic and everything like that, I thought was really, really cool. 
I'd probably rank this in my top 10. I'm not really sure. I kind of want to go see it again just to be able to talk more about it. Of course, Monday, more than likely, I'll probably have a spoiler review of the thing because then I can talk about it more. Horror, violence, character development and story in general, visual effects, dialogue between characters, their relationships and everything like that. Genuinely enjoyed it really really did i thought the whole thing for all of those aspects were really really good but yeah that's just my review overall i thought it was a good movie i would see it again i think people have to experience this movie to actually understand how they feel for the movie if that makes sense so i would say go see this movie but that's really it guys this is the end of the video i hope you did like it please like favorite and subscribe and peace